All right. So we have a TMX running FMX Plus, and this is going to be running a, a dual ISO mod controller. It's a micro track ISO mod controller. Uh, we're also going to be running task controller with this particular deal so that we'll be able to uh, record the covers logging and the as applied map back into the display. Uh, so we're going to open fill, make sure we have the right implement selected, hit OK. Once we get to our field selection screen, we need to make sure that the implement is selected and that we have ISO and ISO bus, which this is our task controller and this is your universal terminal. So you need to make sure both of those are there. Once you get here, if it does not allow you to open the field, then you will have to probably call in for support. But making sure that both of these are here and hit OK. And it says that the login is controlled by an external switch on the VR controller. You'll hit OK there. Do you want to allow auto steer? Yes. So we have a lock, an external log switch, and that goes up and down with the actual uh, hitch on the tractor. So when the hitch is up, it says that the logging is controlled by an external switch on the VR. And you see that this turned red. So when it goes down, it's going to turn green, meaning that it's ready to actually start. So over here on the left hand side we have the ISO bus and this is your one section and you see that it is gray. When you pick it up it goes red and when it goes down gray meaning that it's in standby mode ready to, ready to be controlled. Uh, the first thing you need to do is once you get into the field you're going to go to your universal terminal which is this ISO right here and it takes you to the normal page. You see that we're already connected so you don't have to connect or attach like we used to have to. The firmware is a little bit different so the jargon's changed. But this is your master switch so what you're going to do is you're actually going to hit and turn that to run. You notice that your section control is already red so that it's not applying, applying but it is ready to apply. So now once this is set you just leave that alone. Come over here to your ISO bus and from here, we're going to control it. So as soon as you put the implement on the ground and start pulling beds, it's going to automatically turn on. And when you stop, it's going to automatically turn off. And when you pick it up and the, the, the better comes up off the ground, it automatically shuts off as well. So there, you no longer have to go into ISO and hit run and hold, run and hold all the time. Once you set to run, you close that screen, come back to here, and it's going to operate it for you. Automatically, you'll see your applied rate and your target rate. You can increase or decrease your rate from here. Uh, you have a rate 1 and a rate 2. Both are set to 3, so either one of those will work fine. I would suggest leaving it on 1, and, and but if you were to screw up and hit rate 2, then it's okay. Um, again, it has to be on the ground. And hit OK and in standby mode and whenever you take off this will turn green and your applied rate will start uh, counting for you. Over here on the side you have a coverage and overlap so it's going to actually show you where you've been in the field. You can change that to applied rate and it will actually show you your applied rate across the screen very similar to the planner that we have set up for you. Um, other than that everything else is still the same your application or excuse me your swath widths and AB lines and all that, all that is still set to, to do exactly the way that it was before. Set your AB line and, and it's going to put it out there for you every 20 feet.